Today is July 5th, and as usual, I'll take a look at the new items on Halo Infinite Storm to determine whether or not they're worth your money. So, how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Before we talk about the shop, we of course need to cover this week's ultimate award. You get the Nomad Sutler armor coating for the Eagle Strike Core. It's a nice red and sort of creamish color armor coating. Uh, it's decent, and so honestly, a pretty solid ultimate reward. If you like the Eagle Strike Core and frequently use it, then I'd definitely go for this one. Anyway, let's take a look at the shop. Now, this week is definitely a step up over last week. It's not perfect, but a lot better. And there's honestly some pretty decent content here. First, we have the Hyperion Test Group emblem uh, this is just on its own you don't get anything with it uh, this is the most underwhelming thing it costs 100 credits and you get this little skeleton riding like a nuclear missile or whatever honestly it's not a bad emblem but it's really not something that i find that exciting or really care about at all it's decent it's fine for 100 credits i, I can't really say that's you know a bad price or whatever uh, so it's, it's it's really up to you with that one. Next up, we have the Inevitability of War armor effect, which in my opinion is one of the coolest armor effects we've seen in the game. I really love how it looks with the War Master attachment, how it looks like it's got these flames coming out of the, uh, the helmet attachment. And on any helmet, it looks like you're breathing fire, which I think is awesome. Now for 500 credits, I do think this is a little bit steep. I think 300 would be much fairer, but this is a really cool item and I can understand the appeal here. So if you like this one and you have the credits, then I definitely go for it. But I definitely think 300 300 would be a much fairer price. After that, we have the Eventide Infantry set. Now, this gives you five items, and it's basically half an armor set. You get the M199X helmet, the Nocturne Goggles attachment for said helmet, you also get the Type 11 Defender shoulder pads, and the Dog Harness chest piece. All for the relatively low price of 700 credits, this is honestly a solid set. When you take into consideration last week's big bundle cost the same price and all you got with that was four coatings which were you know all the same coating just for the armor core and then three for the vehicles this is a much better in terms of value and honestly the items here are pretty solid so again if you have the credits i'd definitely go for this one at least if you like the armor core the shoulders are decent the helmet is pretty cool not a huge fan of the attachments it does look like it's pulling the the funny eyebrow face but everything else here is pretty solid and honestly it's a good bundle 700 credits is definitely a fair price again i think one of the first eagle strike bundles we got was the one where you got the uh it was that one helmet and a coating and a helmet attachment and it cost 900 i want to say which like really wasn't fair but this is fine and then last but not least we have the brody armor set you get the brody helmet the gummy tube filter attachment for said helmet you get the praetorian zephyr coating i may have pronounced that wrong uh, but this is the one that looks like the rocketeer one really this should have come out the other week it's kind of weird that they released the weapons skins for it, but not the armor coating. I like this coating, I think it looks great. You also get the Rat Pack shoulder pads, which are decent enough, and the Journeyman chest piece, which I'm a big fan of, as it looks like you've sort of got an Iron Man arc reactor on your chest. There's also the Graphite Soul Visor, which is this nice black visor. You get the rigged knee pads, and then the... I'm not even going to try... You get the, uh, the... You get a nameplate. Not going to try and pronounce the nameplate in full because that is quite a mouthful, but uh, you know, it's fine. It's not one I'd ever use and it's a bit of a nothing item. Overall, this armor set is fine. The cosmetics you get here are pretty decent, but this is double the price of the Eventide Infantry one, which I'd argue is much better for value. Now, I do like the stuff that's in this one much more and it does obviously contain more, this having 12 items, whereas that other one only has five. But when you take into consideration, the only things that it really has over it are a visor, an emblem, and a coating it's like it's not too much i do really like this set however and i might pick it up but i do feel like 1.4k is still a little bit steep for it 1.2k was a fair price for all the armor sets but 1.4 does feel a little overpriced only slightly again uh, but i just don't think that's massively fair if you like the set once again go for it i don't think anything on the shop today is necessarily bad compared to last week there is some really cool stuff here and regardless how you feel about it, you know, a lot of these prices are much fairer than what we've seen before. But anyway, that sums up everything on today's shop. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. It really does help me out. Let me know what you think of the shop down in the comments and I'll catch you all in the next one.